1892, we figured it was kind of stupid to nail antlers to every pair of jeans. Hooter and broken blackened teeth. <laughs> Just guessing. <laughs> what evil lurks beneath thy mysterious but well formed buttocks? <laughs> proof, proof, proof of witchcraft. Proof that you have sat at the right hand of Lucifer and licked much fluff from his satanic navel. <laughs> <laughs> Woman! Yes, you! What evil, what quintessence of evil lurks within such a comely body, a comely body capable of many sexy gyrations? <laughs> what dost thou hide, woman? Aha! Proof, proof, proof <laughs> of witchcraft! Proof that you no doubt have suckled upon the very titties of Satan himself. <laughs> Witchcraft, thy dragon snogging harridan. <laughs> I put it on thine head and stand thee up. <laughs> For now thou shalt undergo the ultimate test of witchery. Come this way, woman. Come this way. Oscar, the witching bowl of truth. Ah. Come here, hag. Hag, what be thy name? Ah, too difficult for thee. <laughs> Let me try it in a language thy will understand. <laughs> what is <did> thy name? <laughs> Say again. <laughs> A witch's name, if ever I've heard one. <laughs> Brother. Behold this, the bowl of witchery. If you do float upon this water, it is not a laughing matter. <laughs> if you do float upon this water here, then you are pure of heart. But should you sink, then tis proof positive that you are a witch. Mrs. <laughs> Step into the waters of truth. With your feet, preferably. <gasps> it floats. It is not a witch. Ah, such a shame. Because if you had been a witch, you would have won tonight's star prize. And to find out what that prize is, over to John Benson. Yes. Tonight's star prize is the very latest four-seater, four-wheel designer jeep with CB player. Ideal for those late-night cover meetings. Better luck next time. So that's all from Witchfinders this week. We'll see you all next week. And don't forget your broomstick. Goodbye. <laughs>